Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to crop a picture in Photoshop using the pen tools. So we press new or control N and we are gonna choose 1920 times 1080 or 1280 times 720, it's up to you. The background content is gonna be transparent and you can press OK. Now from here, we gotta have a pick in here. Uh, now we at least know we're gonna get the right format for YouTube if you're doing a thumbnail. So press place and you can choose whatever pick you want on your PC. Now this is not the right format, so I need to bring it up a bit. Hold down shift when you're doing this. And if you're dragging the picture in the corners, making it bigger, otherwise you will mess up the aspect ratio and it's gonna look quite weird. So make sure you do that. Now we're placing the pick and just pressing right here okay and i think we're good to go but before we do that i want to tweak the picture a bit so i'm going to choose contrast like the auto function between brightness and contrast and just tweak it a bit and then we're going to close we're also going to fix the colors a bit so i'm getting into here and just increasing the saturation a bit bringing out the redness in the picture but also here I want to take out the character when it comes to the icy part of the picture, meaning the blue colors. So vibrance is my choice for the day. Also a bit of the solderation right here. And then we'll closen it. So there we go. It looks pretty okay, I think. So now we're going to place another picture for the purpose of this video. Oh my god, here we go. Here I am in one of my gaming moments. So um, yeah, okay. First of all, I want us to go in a bit closer when we're going to use the pen tool in order to make a good job. The pen tool is here, by the way. Uh, so we're going to, you know, make the picture a bit bigger or larger. Uh, I think that's very important. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to make it right. So we press here. We're going to press two times on the left mouse click. I think this is usually what I do when I'm using the pen tool. Uh, choose the pen tool and make your first click in the far left corner and then you just click like this and after a while you will get the hang of it so don't you worry in the beginning it can be a bit tricky and you will make mistakes I still do them and therefore I will show what you can do if you actually start to press at the wrong place on your picture like this BAM not too good right so you go up to f edit and you choose undo new anchor point or you can also step backwards so this is a very good thing to do and from now on you're just gonna click around the picture like this. When you come to the part with the hair that can be a bit tricky. You have to make some decisions right there. I have a small kind of technique or tweaking technique you might say when it comes to fixing the hair later on when you're using the pen tool as I'm doing here. But we're gonna wait with that and we just have to finish the clicking part with the pen tool before we get into that. Again this is quite time consuming but I think it's worth it if you really want to make it look good uh, I guess that's why we're doing this so continue to be cautious and try to follow the outline of the picture that you want to use and uh, again as I told you if you make a mistake don't you worry you just step backward or do what I just did before and you're gonna be just fine when you get to the far bottom right as I'm doing here we're gonna connect the last dot with my first dot like this and now we're going to unzoom. So choose the zoom tool, uh, get to the minus and press two times with the left mouse click right there. And now we are good to use the pen tool again. And we're going to right click and use uh, or choose make selection and press OK. As you can see now, we have this outline glowing a bit and this is really good. So what we do here is that we press Control J and we have a new layer Control J and now we're gonna unmark the old picture like this take away the visibility and voila we have me on the actual thumbnail or picture the background so we go back and we are gonna choose the zoom tool again and uh, zoom in because we have a few parts we have to take away still there's a small difference right here this technique is still the same click in and then we're gonna right click again on the selected area and uh, press OK but now we're just gonna press delete so press delete on the keyboard and then control D and this is how it looks we're done also gonna fix it on the right side because I need this one to go away and it's, it's the same thing click 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 connect the dots at the end right click make selection press OK and then press delete and control D 
and it looks like this okay i think you got it now i have one more thing to do and it's down here so i've done that as well make selection okay delete Control d mm, okay so now we're choosing the zoom tool again and we're going to unzoom two steps and here we are and it's actually almost time to place it uh, to the background as i want it but first of all we have to fix as i talked about before uh, the hair a bit so we're actually going to zoom in again two times and we're going to choose the eraser tool now this is a very useful tool in many ways but here i'm going to choose a very soft kind of size and brush you might say um not any big hardness at all it's hardness actually going to be on zero and i'm just adjusting the size because i want to be gentle when i'm taking away like the edges of my hair so that's what I'm actually doing here. Make sure that you are on the right layer as well, as you can see in the right column. As with the pen tool, it takes some practice, but you'll get used to it pretty fast. When you're zoomed in like this, it might look a bit weird, but believe me, when you're going back and you're actually watching the picture in the kind of format, you will see it on YouTube or elsewhere. It's going to look fine. So I'm continuing my journey here and I'm going fast forward a bit here so you can see yeah, I'm gonna just do small adjust right there and then I think we're good to go. So we're choosing the zoom tool, going backwards to step and here we go. Okay, now I think it's time to place it onto the background and that we will. So we're gonna use the move tool and for the purpose of the video I'm gonna put myself to the right here and I want myself to be a bit bigger actually to pop out in... Um, in the picture and the thumbnail so I'm gonna press ctrl T and remember to hold down shift when you're actually making the picture larger otherwise again you will mess up the aspect ratio of the picture it's gonna look stretched out and weird so I think this is to my liking at least for the purpose of this video I'm gonna go okay there and if you want to you can fix your pick a bit more to pop out in the thumbnail you're gonna right click on the layer choose blending options and you have something that looks like this you have a lot of options I'm not gonna go through everything but I'm gonna use a bit of stroke and as you can see it's the color is black right now so I have to change that going um, white just choosing the white color usually something I do be a bit careful though as you can see on the top of my head it becomes a bit bigger right here because I've just used the eraser tool on that layer so I'm bringing it down to one and also just taking down the opacity actually a bit it's up to you uh, again this is a question of taste and what you want to do then I go into outer glow fixing the color to white and I have 100% opacity bringing down spread but up the size something yeah like this when I'm done with that, I'm going to choose something that is called Drop Shadow. And you can use that in many ways also on text. But for now, uh, we're using uh, here on the pick. I'm bringing the opacity up, the distance down, the spread down to zero. But I'm bringing up the size a bit. And as you can see, this is one way of putting like an accent on your picture. Uh, meaning me in this case. So you can play around with that a bit. And when you've found a way or a look, just press OK that you like. And now, if you want to, if you have like a watermark or something that you use on your thumbnails or and videos, you can place it and I think you are good to go. Make sure to save. You can save the project. You can also save it as a JPEG if you want to upload it on YouTube, for example. And guys, this is it. Uh, this is just one way of doing it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment. Also share the video for others to see. Maybe we can learn from each other. I hope so. It's nice to share information here on YouTube. People, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.